Hello, today, you will learn about Bonjour. Today let's practice how to conjugate the first group verbs in French in past tense or also known as the passé composé. Before we start I would like to teach you a little bit about how to conjugate in past tense in French. What is the passé composé? And how do we form passé composé in French? Passé composé is a tense which is an action that took place in the past and it's done gone over with. So I would say for example, Yesterday I played basketball. Here we are using the passé composé. The past tense because it happened yesterday. That action took place yesterday and it's gone done over with. But how do we form the passé composé? Once you have this formula you can apply it every time but try to remember the formula of the passé composé. If I am using passé composé I will need subject noun. By subject pronoun I mean Je, tu, il, elle, un, nous, vous, il, elle. And then I am going to need an auxiliary verb. Now have a look at these two auxiliary verbs. We need either to have, avoir, or to be, etre. We need to conjugate these two according to the subject pronoun. And this is in the present tense. And then we need past participle. What is a past participle? It is for example, I eat, this is the present tense. But I want to put this verb into past tense using an auxiliary verb. So I would say I have eaten. What we have done is, we have transformed this verb into the past tense. First group verbs, they are much easier to conjugate because they follow the similar pattern than other verbs such as irregular verbs. Now I am going to use, to talk in English. Now what is the past participle of the verb to talk? Use a subject pronoun example, I, and then add the auxiliary, to have, means, I have, and what is the past participle, talked. That is, I have talked. You see what we have done, we have transformed this verb talk, into, talked, that's what we call the past participle. So now, first have a look at the auxiliary verbs avoir or etre in present tense. That's what we need to form the passé composé. Now let's look at, quickly, we want to conjugate the verb avoir in the present tense. J'ai. I have. Tu as. You have. Il a. He has. Elle a. She has. On a. One has. Nous avons. We have. Vous avez. You have. Ils ont. They have. Elles ont. They have. Without this you don't have past tense. So, etre must be sometimes used in the passé composé. Je suis. I am. Tu es. You are. Il est. He is. Elle est. She is. On est. One is. Nous sommes. We are. Vous êtes. You are. Ils sont. They are. Elles ont. They are. For example, we watched a movie yesterday. It is a past tense. In French, when you want to transform this into past tense you will have to compose it. You got to use either auxiliary avoir or etre. Here we are using the verb regard there which means to watch. In passé composé we use the auxiliary avoir. But when do I know whether to use avoir or etre? In French, most verbs are conjugated with the auxiliary verb avoir. The only time we use etre for passé composé will be when the verb is either known as movement verbs or reflexive verbs. For example, we watched a movie yesterday. Nous avons regardé un film hier. We use the subject pronoun and then the auxiliary and then use the past participle of. Regardez. We know that it has er. Now, how do you create a past participle from an er verb? Quite simply you drop the R and you add an accent. Here is my past participle. Now ER is an indicator that it was happening or happened yesterday. 
In English you can say, I watched or I have watched. But in French it is always, I have watched. Have a look at next example. I gave a gift to my friend. J'ai donné un cadeau à mon ami. These are the examples using avoir. Now using the movement verb, for example. Arrivé. They arrived at the station. We must know that it belongs to the movement verbs. Therefore, it is conjugated with être in a past tense. Ils sont arrivés à la gare. How did we form this past participle? We dropped the R the same way as we did it with avoir that we added an accent, but also an SY? Well, because we are using the auxiliary être. And every time you use the auxiliary être the past participle must agree with the gender and number with the subject pronoun. Because it is ILS which is plural with an S. If you had to use ELLES, then that should agree with the past participle that is double E and S not only, it is plural but also feminine. Now another example using reflexive verb is. The children had fun in the park. Les enfants se sont amusés dans le parc. The SE here in this sentence reflects to. Amusé. Which means to have fun. So the verb is. Amusé. We are using passé composé and we know that for reflexive verbs we use être. How did we do that? Just drop the R and add an accent and add an S because it is masculine plural. Now, let's have a look at some examples. They watch TV all evening. Ils ont regardé la télévision toute la soirée. For the past participle of. Regardez. Just drop the R and add the accent. No need for an S here, because the auxiliary is avoir. You visited the museum yesterday. Vous avez visité le musée hier. I bought a new phone. J'ai acheté un nouveau téléphone. She returned to school after the holidays. Elle est retournée à l'école après les vacances. We add an E here because the auxiliary is être and it is feminine. Retourner. It is a movement verb. We arrived on time for the concert. Nous sommes arrivés alors pour le concert. We add an S here because. Nous. It is plural. These were some examples using passé composé with ER verbs. That's it for today's lesson. Hope this video was helpful. Au revoir et à bientôt. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for next video.